Hello friends, this video on PBLOG part 60 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the xenon and oxygen compound. In fact, we have just seen that hydrolysis of uh, xenon tetrafluoride and tetra hexafluoride with water gives XeO3 that is xenon trioxide. Let me show you the reaction. Xenon tetrafluoride and these reactions are important because we will be getting this xenon trioxide. So you get xenon plus xenon trioxide plus my HF and some oxygen molecule. You can balance this reaction. This is will be 12, this will be 4, this will be 2, 24 and 3. Okay, if you talk about this reaction, xenon hexafluoride, and you do hydrolysis with water, you get again xenon trioxide and HF. Okay, and again, you talk about more oxygen compound. We have seen that uh, the partial hydrolysis of XeF6. If we do a partial hydrolysis of XeF6, uh, we just saw this reaction, you get XeOF4 once. And if you do the partial hydrolysis with little bit of more water, but more water, you get XeO2, F2, and 4 hf Okay, these are all oxyfluorides, xenon oxyfluoride, xenon dioxyfluoride. And please note this XeO3, which I have just discussed, these guys, there is colorless and explosive solid. Colorless but it is explosive solid okay this is explosive talk about the structure of this xeo3 this is xenon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, oxygen 2 1 2 oxygen and again oxygen right yeah so i have three bonds and one lone pair that is one lone pair plus three bond pair. So this shape will be pyramidal. Okay. So if you talk about more properties of this xenon uh, trioxide, it is again, as I told, colorless, non-volatile solid. It is soluble in water. It is soluble in water and it is a very strong oxidizing agent. So if the reaction is for example like CO3 in acidic medium, it is a very strong oxidizing agent. It is on xenon and reached. So we see it is getting reduced on its own, right, from plus 6 to 0. That means it is a strong oxidizing agent. Okay. So if you talk about XCOF4, this particular thing. It is my colorless and volatile liquid. This is a liquid actually. Talk about the shape of XeOF4. So I have a xenon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One oxygen will take two bonds, one fluorine, two fluorine, three fluorine, and four fluorine. And this is my lone pair. So I have one lone pair plus one, two, three, four, five bond pair. Okay. So with this, I have a square pyramidal structure. So for this, I have a square pyramidal structure, XeOF4. Okay. Now let's take some uh, uses of this uh, noble gas. And The various uses include, if you talk about the helium, helium is a very light gas, it is non-inflammable, so it is used in balloons, here helium is used, it is lighter and it is non-inflammable, okay, and uh, it is also used in nuclear reactor, helium, we have seen the reaction of helium in the nuclear reactor, it is also used for, helium is also used for cryogenic agent, where you take out, carry the experiment at a very low temperature. 
okay so it is also used helium is also used for mri by magnetic uh, resource imaging that is used for medical uh, industry in the medical industry to see your brain or different parts of the body to to diagnose a disease actually helium is also used as uh, my sol solvent actually or i even say solvent it is used as diluent yeah it is used as diluent where for oxygen in the modern diving apparatus because why it is low it has very low solubility in blood we'll talk more about this in the next slide since the, it has low solubility in the blood helium is used here also helium is used here also okay we we'll talk about the neon it is used for fluorescent lights argon since it is inert it is used in electric bulb argon in fact xenon and krypton also not much significant use but they are used in uh, uh, the bulbs and the lamps okay the radon is again a radioactive radioactive element so it is used in the nuclear science it is actually used uh, for treating cancer radon is used to treat cancer okay let's take uh, this numerical actually which talks about why helium is used in the diving apparatus uh, i just explained that we'll discuss this in the next slide see actually the helium is used in this uh, diving apparatus one is because it is helium low solubility in the blood but is that the reason big deal see plus helium is non toxic to human why because it is inert okay now if you talk about the scuba divers when they go at a high depth the pressure is very high at this point pressure is high okay now if you talk about the normal air normal air has 75% nitrogen okay and oxygen now if if the scuba diver breathes normal air let's suppose this has normal air if it has normal air it will have 75% nitrogen also in this now at a high pressure at the lower depth or at a great depth actually the pressure is high the solubility increase solubility of gas we have seen that solubility of gas in liquid increase with pressure increase the pressure the more is the solubility of gas and liquid this is something we have seen in the uh, previous to previous chapter actually if you don't know this concept please watch my previous videos where we explain this now at the such a great depth the pressure is very high and thus the solubility of gas that is nitrogen here in the liquid that is blood here right will increase okay so when the scuba divers goes down if it is normal nitrogen normal nitrogen solubility in the gas in the blood will increase so more and more nitrogen will get dissolved in this blood but when the scuba diver comes back again this nitrogen will come out as bubble why because immediately immediately you are changing the pressure now the the moment the, uh, the scuba diver comes back here where we have low pressure again what will happen the solubility of nitrogen in the blood will decrease and this nitrogen will come out as bubble and this is dangerous to health this uh, forms a condition called bends and this condition is a medical condition it can take life also it is very threatening it's life threatening so nitrogen can't be used okay so one option is you use pure oxygen but our body is not used to pure oxygen so if you use pure oxygen it is again harmful for the human body so something has to be mixed with oxygen so we need something which is non toxic and also something which is not much soluble in the blood because if it is soluble in the blood again the same thing will happen see nitrogen is non toxic but the problem with nitrogen is nitrogen is soluble in the blood so at a high pressure nitrogen is more soluble in the blood nitrogen is more soluble in the blood actually if you go down the nitrogen is more soluble in the blood this black is nitrogen is more soluble in the blood and with this 
what happens is when again the scuba, scuba diver comes up this nitrogen comes out of this bubble and this is a medical condition called bends and that is life threatening so we need something which is non toxic and not much soluble in the blood and helium is a good substitute helium is not toxic and helium is also not soluble not highly soluble in the blood okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again